everyone and welcome back to another mukbang with Diamond Lee. We are the Munch Munch UK. Lee, tell them what we got on the menu today. Hey up everybody. Everybody, hey up. How are we diddling? Today we have burgers. Burgers, chips and ush brooms. But you're going to tell them why you said burgers the way you do. I don't do. even know why I said that. No, it is. That, that is not true. She I, used to say it like that. I've heard, I mean, people have said burgers for years. Stop. Please put ash browns in there. Hash browns, double quarter pounders, Aberdeen Angus quarter pounders, specially selected apparently. From where? From Aldi. Which is German. Not even Lidl. It's German for Aldi. Uh, lettuce, cucumber, onion in names. In mine, just a burger and onion. No, that's a box. Oh, <laughs> but burger and lettuce and cheese. Tomato ketchup. Tommy ketchup. That yeah. is a huge tomato. Look at the size of I'm going to have to take that blue. What? What's wrong with that? I can't get it all in your mouth at one go. It's not what you normally say. And we've got some big my chips and some ash brooms. Please, um, world's biggest chips. Yeah. As my mum calls them that. Oh, uh, we're going to try and... We've got... Well, oh, we can only God. get one plate because all the others need washing. So, <laughs> we're going to share the one plate. Mm. We've got oh, one plate God. and one dish in the house now. No, no, we haven't. We're trying to limit on the wash up liquid being used. Like, oh, good. Oh, let's just separate. Let's just Super it duper good. Nash Brown is now on the floor where the dog will consume. <laughs> if he comes over, he can have it, but he's, he's me, deaf now, so he, he hasn't heard it for Oh, he floor. hasn't even, doesn't even know. But he won't eat that anyway because it's too hot. Yeah, he ain't bloody hot now, I mean, his food's gone cold. It's not. It's been sat here for like five I highly minutes. recommend them. How much was that? Because I have been on the So, specially selected. They were three pound fifty for four um, Aberdeen Angus from Aldi. Oh, for fix! I drop everything there. Yeah, it come from a cow in Scotland, hence the Aberdeen and the Angus part. Mm. And it was brought down to the Midlands and sold in Aldi. Aldi, but I'm not kidding you. We used to never have these, did we? These brioche buns, and they have some of the nicest oh, ones. Freak me! He's turning. He's yeah, everything keeps stopping and starting because we're having a lot of technical difficulties. We completely forgot what to do here. We're out of sync. It's only our second video in like the last year. Yeah, we're totally out of sync. We don't know what the hell we're doing anymore. No, but that microphone that we used to have, we used to have a big massive microphone, it was never a little one, and apparently I've got to speak up. So let's talk about this. Size yeah. of that. So the the burgers, like I said, I made all this dinner. I went to Scotland, I caught the cow in the field, I brought it back to the Midlands, I cooked it. I cut it up obviously and then cooked it and there we go. Have you tried it? Because it is no. absolutely lovely. Highly it, recommend it. it there's, there is two in here. It's like, so it's like half a pound of burger because it's a quarter pounder times two. Do you double quarter pounder? What's okay. double quarter pounder? Half a pounder. Exactly, it's half a pound of burger. I wonder why they call it half, quarter, double quarter pounder at McDonald's. Because it's like fat gets That's same. the point. Why, why don't they say half pounder burger? Because do you realise how yeah, but I bet that greedy sell it sounds? More. It's like now half a pound burger. But they'd sell it more, wouldn't it? It sounds more than you said double. Can I have a double a quarter pounder? So therefore you can double the amount of food for only an extra couple of quid. Mm. Let's try hash brown. Cheers. Oh, we're no, not. I've got doing... chips, not hash brown. No good chips. Yeah. I like that. I'll make chips a lot. If They're you, good. If you ever want to make a big, big homemade chip, buy a big baking potato or jack mm. potato and then just cut it up. That's all I do. That's what he's been doing. And my mum absolutely loves them. No word of a lie. But, you know what I don't like anymore? Curly fries. Can't stand them. I like wedgies. You not not the type you, you get when you like your pants cut your arse. <laughs> but I like potato wedgies. With the seasoning on. Oh yeah, they're nice. And you get some of them and you get some chicken. And you get a wrap and you stick it all in the wrap. You just eat it like that. That's really nice. With barbecue sauce. And barbecue sauce. And all the sauces, now word of a lie, we go on about tomato ketchup, Heinz and everything. Their tomato ketchup down there is really nice. Heinz isn't that nice to me. Some people only swear by it like that. Mm -hmm. I like this one, shall I? Tastes That's the same. original. From, from where? Lidl. Scandinavian, Scandinavian for, for cheap ketchup. What did you used to say? What did you used to say, Whatever guys? Whatever it was, Scandinavian, I'll just make shit up. <laughs> I'm just good at it, I'm creative. I'm like, what's her name? Liz McDonald in Corrie, where she'd forget her lines. She'd just say, Jim! And then she'd be like, thinking, what the hell's the next line? I need 
I need some milk from shop. You just go out to the shop and buy some milk. Liz McDonald is Steve McDonald's mum in Coronation Street. If you wonder who that is, has any of you seen that new Dungeness burger that is in In and Out in America? We tried to make these today. Well, they tried to make it for me, but he couldn't do it. All the onion fell apart. I've never seen it. That's why I didn't know how like I was making. Two big slices of grilled onion with just the beef burger and the cheese, and it looks amazing. And you put like with sauce on and have a gherkin. Oh. The cheese, we didn't get the cheese melt like we'd hoped for because... I think it's the wrong kind of cheese. This, so when we've done the videos in the past, the other, the other burgers were done. And the cheese, like, all dripping down the side, looks really good. That was Gouda, or Gouda, whatever you want to call it. Gouda. Gouda. It was like, it was the good stuff. Mm. Expensive, two ninety nine a pack. This stuff is the 50% less fat one, because mm. that'll make all the difference to our diet whilst eating greasy chips. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and it doesn't melt as well. So that's hence no, why it don't look as good. But there is cheese in there. You can see it there at the side. It's just coagulated. Is that what they call it? That's what I told you a while ago. And you was like, oh, oh, yeah, we were discussing this. Oh, I say solidified. Well, I guess it's either. Coagulated, I'm sure they call that with oh, blood. blood, yeah. Mm. And cheese. It's, oh, blood and cheese. Yeah, cheese. That's how it works, you see, in the hospitals. They measure it by blood and cheese. All right. Anyway, moving on to more important things like... Air fryers. Have you got a story? I've got a rant. Oh no, you ain't bossy air fryer, I'm have you, Lou? I hope not. No, so we've got two air fryers. Why have we got two air fryers? Because we we didn't want to wait to get the double one from somewhere else. Because Amy's too, like, um, no, you impatient. So we were just like, I need an air fryer. This was after Christmas or before, mm. whatever it was. I was like, okay, how much are they? She told me, I was like, we don't need an air fryer that badly, I'm like 200 quid for them double ones. So I was like, well, let's just leave the air fryer and just fry things really quickly in the chip pan. <laughs> it works quicker. So I didn't see the big deal like, oh, these air fryers. He didn't say that. He's, he's being very sarcastic. I though. didn't see the point in getting one at the price that you were telling me there was. I'm right till he tells you in a minute how he loves it more than me. Yeah. Well, our tea works at a certain supermarket where she gets a discount. So I was like, let's go there and use our tea a certain discount at the shop and get a cup, an air fryer. Yep. Went up there. They had the double ones, but not um, a proper No, it brand. wasn't Ninja. No, it wasn't Ninja, no. It was just like... We wanted the Ninja brand. Not saying that any others aren't as good, but that was the one we wanted. But we are. All the other ones are a bit shit, really, aren't they, compared to Ninja. Well, Ninja's I don't know. You tell us. We don't know that, Lou. Um, I literally went to buy one, and the woman who was in this certain supermarket came up to me. She was a customer. I had two in my trolley at this point. Mm. She said, are they any good? I don't know. I've never <laughs> used one. She said, uh, I've heard them other ones over there. They set fire, like just catch fire on their own or something. That is true. Good job, not really getting one of them then, isn't it? So we got the ninjas. You've grilled them onions brilliantly. Didn't grill them, fried them in a frying pan. Well, whatever. They look they taste really good. So I was right. I, I, they got no double ones. She said, that's no good. I'm impatient. I don't want to wait. What are we going to do? I said, well, they got two single ones. I like loads of single ones. So we negotiated mm. and said... Well, it's not going to cost any more. We only lose out on like a bit of space. Why do we get two? We've got the space for them. Hence yeah. why we've got two air fries. We do. It, 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 we do have the space for it. So, but what's the problem? Let's get to the serious nitty gritty of things. They don't tell you on the advertisements. If you've ever seen one on the TV, because over Christmas, they did documentaries on air fries. Yeah, they did. You've got no Royal Family Christmas special. No Birds of a Feather Christmas special. We've got air fry Christmas special. Next year, there'll be the return of the air fry Christmas special. Anyway, air fryers, yeah. They what have we done, Lou? Nothing, but they don't turn on the advertisement. Cost us about 200 quid for two, because that was, was in the sale or whatever, and we got a discount. Our tea a certain discount at a certain superstore or supermarket. <laughs> we got this discount, and we got a discount on the air fryers, <gasps> and I thought, oh, brilliant, okay, it's only cost us 200 quid. How oh, the hell's that still going? I thought I just muted that. It only cost us £200 for these air fryers. Yeah. Um, but what they don't tell you is, within like a week, you're going to lose two an extra £200 quid worth of food to the air fryer. So these burgers, when I put them in, I've done a little vlog. I was so worried then. No, I've done a little food haul from this morning. It's gone out to our members. There's a member section on our channel. We'll get into that another day or later on. And on the member section, there's a food haul video of what we bought at Aldi this morning. And you'll see the size of the burgers. They were like that. You put them in the air fryer, they're going like that. Yeah, they, they do, like they that. do. Mm. You can barely look through them. 
They're like, why don't they advertise this on the advert and tell you, you're going to lose half your frigging food. Maybe it's cooking times. Anyway. It's There's what? so many things that I want to try in the air fryer. If you guys have got any really good recipes for me and Lee to give it a go, because you remember when Lee used to do his cooking specials? Mm -hmm. You could have a go at doing one of them again. But you do. I noticed that the other day. We burnt some croquet potatoes. You know them things like... did. She burnt, burnt chestnuts. My mum burnt the croquets at Christmas and Oh, yeah, they, they come out black, didn't they? Mm -hmm. I bet that's racist these days to say that. Oh, don't be stupid. Anyway, they um, they was definitely burnt. She set fire to something in the microwave, sorry. She set fire to the chestnuts. But we literally was over by like a couple of minutes with the croquets in the, in the air fryer and there was on that verge of being inedible, in my opinion. The problem you have with an air fryer is it's frying with air. And if you leave it to do its own bloody thing, don't read the packets on stuff. My mum did that, showed the croquet packet. Bob, a fella, Bob said, it needs eight minutes. My mum didn't hear eight because she had the air fryer on. It was too loud next to her head. <laughs> she heard 18. Set the timer to 18. Christmas dinner this was. She, it was my, it's my thing. Like, oh, I'll get you some croquets, Lee. Mm. I was like, oh, thanks, well, can't wait. I love croquet potatoes. And then she opened it up. And they, 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 they were darker than this plate. And she said, oh, you can still eat them, can't you? She said, you freaking can't. She said, you can still eat them, can't you? And everybody was like, I mean, I'm not kidding you. That, that was just inedible. They were like, really hard. They you know, like charcoal. They were like charcoal, weren't they? There's no way. That's Couldn't hard. have even done it. But I do agree. They can be dangerous. And I'll tell you what else can be dangerous. No, I don't leave them on anymore. Dryers. Don't leave your dryer on when you go out the house. I think in general, I think like, just put the stuff in the dryer, but don't switch it on. I wouldn't it leave it on when I'm in bed. I don't go out the house anymore with a dry run. Especially if you got pets. I wouldn't leave any electricals on at all, ever, because it's so friggin' expensive these days with the cost of electric. Well, if you were to see our living room right now, we've got all spotlights everywhere because of this video. But I kid you not, there was this woman the other day, and I watched it on TikTok, and, uh, and it luckily it turned out to be all right in the end. I never told you. Watch your pets. Because the other day on TikTok, a woman filmed it, and it was horrible. And I don't know where the guidelines kept it on there, to be honest. And she filmed it happening? She was vlogging around her house, yeah, showing right. her appliances, and the dryer was on. She'd just put the dryer on, the bloody cat was in it. And she, oh, uh, yeah, I know that one goes, so I've got a spare phone here. I can only imagine that. Oh, look <laughs> at this, you're just filming. Oh, this is me and I'm, hello, I'm, mm. how are you doing? Oh, sh oh, there's Barney, he's in the dryer. Mm. Oh, little Barney, look at his little face. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure she was just, she dropped the phone and everything. She, oh, my God. Luckily, the cat was... I out reckon. Home. You reckon it stayed? I reckon she did it on purpose. Look at the size of that. I mean, to your head. <laughs> there are some proper weirdos out there who would happily stick a cat in a dryer. I went to school with a lad. He worked with me, mate. He was a, right, he was a school boy. No, but he's cat in the dryer. No, he? but I've always been against animal cruelty. And one day he came to school and was like, oh, what's up with you? You have no <laughs> bloody fit or something. He's like, oh, you never seen what I did yesterday. What did you do yesterday? Beat someone up? No, I found a pigeon. Oh, what do you do with a pigeon? Shag oh, it no. around the bush? He said, no, I got a pigeon. He was injured. I was like, right, what do you do with the injured pigeon? Oh, no. Take it to a vet. RSPCA, put it out of his misery. No, I tied it to a train track. Well, you're bloody nice, ain't you? That's why we're not friends. You are, Joe. Oh, no, no, his name was Michael. I won't say his surname. He might be watching. Well, you might Michael. find me dressed and come and knock on the door. You're going to get bullied again, Lee. If you are watching, Michael, you're a horrible man. Yeah. No, but... He, he might be tied to a train track himself since then. Won't put and the problem him. is, is because now, obviously, we TikTok, if you watch a full video, you get stupid videos now. So I'm getting stupid videos of people with animals. Like, not on purpose, but like... Doing stupid things, yeah, and I hate that. Putting their that. dogs on the barbecue. Oh, no. That's all right, then. I won't let you watch that, and I'd be No, but you know what I mean? It's like things like that, which I don't like to see, but it just goes to show, doesn't it? People will go to, like, some crazy extent in doing videos. I reckon you're right. That was staged. You can't tell me. How did the cat get in the dryer without the shutting the door? What gets me, Amy, is how many... T I've seen cats like, oh, ain't that funny? They do get in the washers and stuff. Yeah, when they, they find them fast asleep. You know, oh, my cat likes to have a kip in there. That's his little hiding place. Yeah. That's cool in the gang. No problem. But she's quite gullible. Not being horrible, eh? You are. 
And you'll see some, you'll be like, oh my god, this is terrible. Like, hey, look at this. Well, at the I'm end, like, she came out and said it must real. have been her son Jack. I think his name was. Like, to pin it on the... Jack, yeah. After she gets death threats off animal cruelty people. It did come up with one of them warning things at the bottom. Well, you know, it's funny you mention that because I, I was listening to a podcast before we did this and it was on about people, especially it was, there was a lot of Americans because it's an American podcast, and how far some people Tell go. Tell them who it was, Lee. Joe Rogan. And if you mate. remember our videos before, every piece of every piece of information Lee ever comes out with, by the way, is from Joe Rogan Not himself. Not strictly true. Not at all. Who else? Me. Sometimes it's his mate, Joey. Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz. Anyway, Joe Rogan and his mates are about this um, prankster. You, know, you see all these idiots. Well, a couple in England have been done recently for just going too far with pranks and whatnot. Like you'll see some idiot in the town walk up and nick someone's hat. And the oh, they great, do that, don't Because the bloke turns around, he's a big bloke, and knocks them out. In America, they took it a step further. There's this, I don't know, I don't want it myself. I won't want to. Oh, Sounds no. disgusting. I'm, I should put the burger down a second. Yeah, could, could I, I'll get very off-put by this type of... They, right, let me swallow. So, this lad, I don't know his name. Let's call him... Pete. Let's call him Pete. Chuck you a bucket used to call everybody... Over. But everybody, Pete. Yeah, let's call him Pete. I chuck a bottle of shit over people's heads. I oh, don't lie. Yeah, that's what he does. He's a prankster. He took it too far. He'd wait for a, tr- a subway train to pull him, pull him on the tracks underground. You know, they quickly open, the doors open, and they're only there like a second or two. You've got to get out and get on. And that's what they do. So Surely not. Pull up. And the doors go. He'd be there with a bucket, a full bucket of stuff. Not very nice stuff. Like, it comes out of the human body. And dogs... Backsides, he'd have added water to it so it all liquidy. Oh, please! And the door opens, lobbed it on him. Someone's filming it. Ha ha ha! You're on camera. Ha ha ha! And then before the canoe, surely that's like like dangerous. Tap. Toxic. You don't say. Yeah, but sh- has he got done for this? I don't know. Yeah, yes, he's been done for it. Yeah, he got charged for it. Um, we got quite a few people before that happened, and all you see is like the reaction of the person and on the camera, like like just the gobsmacked. Well, I've been the, sick. The, I'll oh, tell you the truth. I've it's been, everywhere. Bro, oh, I've put off now. And they might have like three hours left of the train journey to get home. And then, I mean, I've been on a train before and someone's been to the bathroom and the doors come open and it stinks. That's bad enough. But imagine it's been sitting next to... You mean like yourself. I've never had the, the, the toilet door come open on a train. Oh, no, I've never had the toilet door come open on a train. That'd be rough. Oh, I'm sorry, but surely this sort of behaviour is going a bit too far now. I'm not being funny, but... Mm. You can't do that type of thing just because TikTok is a thing now. It's like you're allowed to literally do anything. Yeah. It's like these... Have you seen these new sports that they do? And it's like slapping each other. Mm. That's an old sport, isn't it? But no, I mean, it's a, no, it's now a proper competition. Yeah. I, I'd love to argue with you. Bang! Back off now, Charles. What's his name? Dana White, who's like the president of the so UFC. So any more nasty stories? No. That's right. He's the president of the UFC, Dana White, most of you know him. And he started scoffing at the idea. You'd see these clips, you're like, nah, <laughs> what a lot of shy. Then he saw how much interaction they were getting on TikTok and YouTube and stuff and how much money you could make from it. Mm-hmm. So he set up Power Slap League. And these men and, we, and women... And women do it. You have a hand behind your back and you get a free slap at the other person. <laughs> the person says to our table, you look, the person who's getting slapped, whose turn it is to get the side like... And they get a full-on wind-up they can pull around his back as far as they want. Or you get one go. Oh, no. It just It's the first out. one to get knocked out, I think. And they do literally get knocked out cold. But if you've ever been slapped, it can hurt more, an open palm slap, than an actual punch to the face. That is just... A it is sh- horrible. Like, I mean, obviously it has to be the same sex people, I'm presuming. No, they would die. There's this little woman. Like, little Chinese lady. She was like 94 or like, and there was like no, tell me she's there was done somebody who was like well, the size of like um, uh, Tyson Fury, and he whacked her, full on in the face. Really, ladies, yeah. it's lie. Full on, and she ended up in a coma for six weeks. Stop lying. No, of course, after the same, but he's sexy weird now. You, it's equality. I didn't know. There is some videos though, like it's, over in Russia, they'll mm. do anything, and that's not being horrible to Russians, but they do like accept a lot of different kinds of sports to over here. And they'd have some like cage fighting, where it'd be like two little women up against like a big, big man, like a big sumo size wrestler. And I shit you not, these women like take him down and beat him up. And he's like a professional fighter, but he can't handle these two little women. 
Oh, we, well, good. You say that. There's some women who are small. Uh, there was one in my school, I can't name a name, but... Didn't begin could, with Amy and end with your surname, did it? No, but I kid you not, she could beat up a full-grown man. Mm. You know, it makes you, it makes you realise, really, just how, like, you, you can go outside and everybody judges a book by its cover, don't they? Like, you can go out and say, there's a really big guy who's actually, like, as gentle as a giant, wouldn't hurt a soul. And you get, like, a little small guy who could jack your chin, yeah? You could, like, you know, right. wow, wow. let's call him... What was his name? He could Bruce Lee, yeah. Well, I thought he was doing a bit of MCing then. Ow! <laughs> like, scratching. I thought, oh, she, she fights, you know, scratching a CD. No, but... I watched, um What did I watch now? The first episode, I don't know if you've ever seen it, of Prison Brides. Prison, Prison Brides? Br no, I Prison Brides. And I could you know, you know when you get, like, a pen pal? There's a lot of people who do that, you know, like, pen pals mm -hmm. are criminals and stuff. And a lot of these women have gone over, from, a couple of them from England to America and married these convicts when they come out. And some of them was like little pit men, small men, but that was dangerous, small figure and everything like that. And the bigger ones weren't. It was the little ones who could fight and scrap and everything. Yeah, you got to be careful the little ones. But you know the women or the men still? Both of them. Uh, but then the women have to ask themselves, so like they're over here, let's say it's somebody in England, right, somebody on death row in America, and then all of a sudden they get exonerated in America. And like, oh, they're coming oh, behind you. John the Butcher's getting out. Oh, my God, now I get to go over and live with him as his wife. And you get they get to like the prison, and they're there like to welcome John the Butcher out. He's not. He wasn't really a butcher, he just butchered a lot of people. <laughs> and he's like, hello, John, I've even put on an accent for you. <laughs> and John comes out. Oh, hello, Mary. How you doing? Yeah. He's got an English accent. You know, he's American. She's English. She's born in America. And he's from Yorkshire. He's from Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mary. How you doing, love? Um, so Mary's there. She's like, wow. I've been waiting at least four years for this moment. I've been fantasizing about making you sausages in the morning and having making love with you in the evening. She turns over. There's Sylvia behind oh, no. her. He's been writing to everyone and anyone. He's been enjoying all the perks of life, getting pictures sent to him, smelly underwear, oh. packs of broken cookies in the post. <laughs> he's had everyone. And he's little as Mary now. He's married all of them. And then they're all like, oh, I guess we'll have to go from one of them polygamy, whatever they call it. Poly 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 relationships. Oh, um. Poly 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 What's it called? Where well, you can like, sleep with lots of people and it's acceptable. Poly not polygamy. No, it's like, um, oh, that's, um... Preliminary that's, orgasm. That's preliminary embolism, Emb idiot. Embolism. <laughs> uh, what preliminary it? embolism. Basically, it's like a blood clot in your in your respiratory. But I'm not about that. I was on about the relationships. Where like, polygamy. 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 That's it, yeah. Is it bigamy? No, bigamy is oh, where, you, you where you're married and sleep around. Polygamy where it's, you've been married and it's accepted to sleep around. I've got a feeling it isn't quite the word. It is a polygamy. Polygamy. What do you there. think about, Lee? I'll try Truth. Not, so. Look, just be serious. Oh, God. Just for once, oh, okay. what do you think about uh, more marriages, like, so marry multiple people? Now, there was somebody on the TV, I think his name was John, and he had, like, seven wives. What do you, what's your true, honest thoughts about this? Oh, what, what do you have? Well, if everyone's honest about it, he's got one wife or one husband, normal relationship, normal marriage, it can be hard work, can't it? Like... You know, you, you've got to make the dinner for him sometimes. Some, sometimes you have to like, look interested in what they're saying. And like, I must have like, listened to me and my waffle. And like this morning I was talking to her. I'm laying next to him in bed. Like, tell her something I found really interesting. What tell her? In me ear. I was like, how the no, hell are you falling asleep? You can't put me down like that. Out? Some people, I'm one of them people, like if you say, do you want a drink? Yes, no, done. Lee, and more so my mum, but it, it'll go into major detail for ages. He was talking about it, where I could have summed it up in 15 seconds. Well, you'd have to have been there to sum it up, love. Right, right there, go on, you? what's the answer then? No, I would not want more than one aim or one other woman in my life because it costs you a bloody fortune. What in divorces, if you get divorced, like you got pay out or through the teeth. I wasn't thinking of the negativity in it, Dan. No, I really couldn't be asked. That's the truth of the matter. I like simple in my life. I like easy going. We were watching the first dates last night. There was this older mm. two uh, singletons on them. They're in like the 60s or whatever. 
And the woman like, just wants to like, still live a life and have loads of fun. She goes to a for every night or whatever. This um, lady who's like 61. Oh, she was brilliant. Yeah, she makes like cock shaped candles. If whatever thought she about. I mean, I wouldn't want to use one of them as like a, a sex toy if it's lit. That like, could get dangerous. <laughs> oh, my bits are on fire. Didn't you blow it out first? John. No, I didn't. Her, anyway, him, and she's like, I want to get married. I want to settle down. He's like, I don't want to get married. I don't want to settle down. I like my life. I like peace. Mm. I, want, I want somebody who accepts me for me. He didn't want to, like, commit, did he? No, I think he wanted his cake and eat it. He wanted to have a go and, like, just carry on being in his own person. He, he wanted to keep going clubbing. You can have all them. But she wanted to go clubbing, but with him and be married to him. And some people are just like that. Like, they just want like, peace. I get quite. I, if I had to put it into a ratio, one to hundred <clears> percent, <throat> on a weekly basis, it'd be fair to say. You're gonna tick me off. I get about seven and a half percent peace a week. Ninety-two and a half percent is not peaceful. But the, the seven and a half percent, I met the most of that. So if you got somebody else in your life, that's fifteen percent you're losing a week. Wait a second. Elaborate. Or you, or a week. What do hmm. What do you mean? Peace. How do I not give you peace? Oh. I watch the darts. So I'm well into the darts. Oh, yeah. mm. Right? Love the darts. I do. Love the darts. Love the darts. So how can you tell me I'm not, like, investing in something you enjoy? What do, not, what do you invest in I enjoy? Alcohol. No, I'm being sued. No, what do not, not Master Chef. I got into Master Chef with you. Married at first sight. I got into that with you. We haven't finished that. Travelling. I'm into travelling. Um, your shoe collection. Making sure it's like put away so it don't get lost and I'd like to buy you more shoes. No, I'm being deadly serious. Anything that I love, you've never really invested in it. Like, you don't sort of ask me about something in my hobbies. Now, oh. you like the dog. I ask you. I've learnt oh. all about it. Go on then. What are you going to test me? Ask me some names. On darts? Yeah. No one here will know anything about darts, but it's only me and you like oh, it. I like a quiz. <laughs> Flipping darts quiz. So we've gone from health quizzes to darts quizzes. I mean, I'm good at that, though. Oh, here we go. I'm not going to do one, but what was you going to say? I was going to, like, just, you know, show you I am invested in something All right, you're then. interested in. Name something that I love, a product, or... Where's that box at? That's not fair. There's a box of products down here that we've had, Ames had sent to her from a couple of Stephen the subscribers. Um, it's full of lovely beauty stuff that's like very, very, very expensive. Oh, it's just fabulous. I mean, if the parcel force money delivered it, knew that that box was probably about two grand, I don't think it would have made it to our door. I oh, could you not? I could never thank them enough. They changed my skin, haven't they? Like, no. my. Oh. They sent me something as well, which I'm going to use. It's like, I was always saying to them, like, Lee, you need to put like anti aging on your arse. I said, why? Because you've got a right wrinkly arse. <laughs> I thought, well, good job, Stephen. Uh, Chris has sent me something for my arse then. <laughs> Shut up! Anti aging arse cream. But we are going to do one of our first. I ain't doing it on camera. My shows on my arse on. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> Too much, you are. That'll go on the uh, the membership side of things. A bit titled Lee Moisturises His Arse to Get Rid of Wrinkles <laughs> and Lube Himself Up no, stop for it. the Cock Candle. That I've ordered oh off the one off at first date. You know something, considering this is only our second video, Batley, you've not gone out by arms, have you, here? Because you, you didn't want to do this. I'm not going to lie to him. You was moaning about the setup and everything. You have gone into mega, fully overdrive. I figured, and I did say this to you the other day when we did the last video, we ain't holding back no more. If it, we, we did a lot, oh my God. We're doing we a live. Tonight. Yeah, but people watching this probably watch this tomorrow, not now. No, we'll get it up tonight. Well, we'll try. Uh, after a few drinks, it's difficult mm. to get it up, if you don't want to like them. Oh, let's stop. Now, but seriously... My mum and dad don't even They won't know. watch this thing. How the hell did you do this? In the frying pan. Mm. It wasn't very technical. I just cut up some onions, just took it in the frying pan but and you let do it. You didn't put no oil in it, did you? No, it's frying like... It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Bit of charring, look. Oh, we was on a live last week or the week before, and there was a lovely subscriber on there, and they said, oh, my son, uh, son's here, I think they said, and I'd already been swearing at that point after a few drinks, and we went into a whole thing, I think a son was like 12 or 13, and I went into details, I said, oh, mate, don't worry about it, you know, just don't tell you when your porn collection is, 
And I couldn't believe what I was saying. I was like, look, I've been his age. Yeah, but look at him. His beautiful mum didn't have oh, a problem. Oh, his lovely mum was all for it. Oh, I know where it's at. Don't worry, I'll see her every time I clean his bedroom. She, didn't, she said it's all right about the swearing. Yeah. Good job, because we can go all the way out. I don't care. I'm not. No. He is. He'll still be well behaved. No, but name one thing then that I love. I'm still not you. Yeah, but you never answered. How bloody egotistical is that? You never answered. Um. Oh, bloody hell, do you love? Ham sandwiches. <laughs> you love ham sandwiches? What? So that's my favourite sandwich? No. Um, chicken and Brussels sprout sandwich. I do like that. That is just weird. You are a strange person. Ham salad. Oh yeah, I, I was going to start one next. That was next on my list, ham salad. What is my favourite takeaway? Oh, I don't know. Um, does it come from a place called China? <laughs> yes, it is a Chinese. My favourite colour. That would be green. Yeah, with it or That's not. why I'm wearing a kind of like green t-shirt. And the fact that I had ketchup on my hoodie so I threw it over there. And there's a reason it's green, but you don't know that, do you? It's because green is a magic number. No, green's your mum's favourite colour. Yeah, and never since I was a kid, even if I like pink more, I always say that that's my favourite number. Purple is my favourite colour. Red and yet you've never really... purple. No, because oh, blokes don't walk around. You watch around. me bite my tongue then. Blokes don't walk around and think, oh, I love the colour purple. And go out and buy a purple shirt. Which they do weird. around days, though. Well, I'm in the olden days, so sorry about it. Prehistoric dinosaur here. Yeah. Right, it's time to rock and roll. It's half six. We've got to get this up. Because got... if if we does do it in time, we'll be like at half past ten. There was meant to be another video recorded straight after, so I am absolutely stuffed. <sighs> we'll have to do that one. Tomorrow. Don't lie. Because record... you're a nightmare. I will rec I ain't going live tomorrow, I'll do a video. No, I don't want to go live tomorrow. If we go live tonight, we'll go. <sighs> God, I'm just sick. Um, one more thing. If you have got any recipes for me to try in the air fryer or him, um, let us know because we'll do it, your recommendations, and then we will... Try it in it. I've tried air fry Yorkshire puddings. Mm, they weren't great. Quite bad. No, they weren't, they weren't too bad, but I'll tell you what is brilliant in there. You know, stuffing, you know, and you're having your dinner. That's good on in there, you know. Oh, it's great if you do it in there. Bit of butter, put it in, mixy mix. That's what everybody says on TikTok yeah. now. Just my head in. Well, why well, say Give that. it a mixy mix. Oh, shut I up. I don't say that, so I'm all good and hurt. Yeah, do that anyway. Do whatever. Or should we do oh, what I eat in a day with some funny music? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mine would be pretty uninteresting because all I've had today is this and a bowl of porridge with yogurt, protein powder, and strawberry. Oh, I'll tell you what, Tia made it last night. I had some sort of mixed salad. It was like spinach, rocket, spring onions, red onions, cherry tomatoes. Lettuce bits and bobs. Oh, it was great. It was a boiled like a egg and a sausage. Oh, it was in like a little, um, little plastic pots that we got. Containers. Absolutely delicious. Wow. So that anyway, we're going to wrap this up now. We hope you've enjoyed our second video back. I and according enjoyed. to him, and you can hold him and forever hold his peace, apparently we're filming tomorrow. I see how my arse feels after sitting on this settee for the last half an hour. We'll go into that on, on another day. Um, not my arse, obviously, I'm in the city. Well, well you are, because you're going to get it on the next video. Yeah, on, on the member. Go on, it's out for our top tier membership to see my arse getting moisturised. It's, it's like about 100 it's quid a month. It's not true. I'm but joking. I was going to say, you are actually advertising. No, we're not, that, we're not that kind of content over here. But no, to go to onlylees.com. Yeah. <laughs> Head over to our thing, though, um, our memberships. Yeah, you've got to tell them about it quickly before we... We'll do it on the next video. We can go into detail at the beginning. But just, well, just tell them a bit about it. There's stuff on our membership side of the channel now. When you go, when you go onto our homepage, as they subscribe or join. Click join and just join. They start off dirt cheap for like the basic package. And if you've got any requests, not dafty requests, but if you've got any requests that you want us to do specifically, that's what that's there for. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, that is on like one of the other uh, options. So there's like three different uh, tiers that you can sign up for, and they're all dirt cheap. But for each one, you get different stuff, i.e. members-only videos. No one else will ever see the video other than you and whoever else is in that membership side of things. <laughs> and 
24 hour access to our videos early. So like this video, if we had a chance, would go up on our membership side of things before tomorrow. And then everyone else would get to see tomorrow. Yeah, so and we could record it for today, yesterday. You'd have seen it yesterday. Connect today. with us on social media. Ooh, what does that mean? I don't know myself yet. I need to figure it out. Well, we need to make a new Instagram, which we, we was told last Saturday. Yeah, we will. On our live. And we haven't done it. Guys, brioche buns are not cheap. They cost like £1.30 for four. It's like 40 pence for a brioche bun here, Ain. Do you mind? Do you mind not bloody eating it? Like I, I don't that? like the bread. From fresh. Uh, look, guys, you mm. remember me, Val. I don't like bread too much. Right. I'd have preferred that without any bread. I know. Like a lettuce wrap. Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly along. I'll see you all later. It's like you eating onions. Anyway, we'll see you later on tonight. Come and join us on our live, because Lee will be getting this up this evening. At half past 10 p.m. Half past 10 p.m. No, this will be out before that. Come and join us out. It'll be fun and giggles, drinks and snacks, which we never get round to eating. Well, I'm going for a nap. We've got four hours. That sounds it's like It's done you mean, I'm... Shush. He does. He, he was a nightmare before. you got a really big spot on your nose. I know. I've squeezed that before, and then it just shot up out of nowhere. I could just squeeze it for a second. Ew. Ew. Anyway, we'll see you later. Love you loud. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.